guys, Cindy Yoda here. Um, I've got something to show you that is just really cool. Back when we had the 30 days of, of um, let me think, ATC a day, I think it was, I did tags. Well, a dear friend of mine um, did stencils. So I'm missing a couple of them, but that's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the ones I do have. Of course, let you know the names of them if I can see with all the paint. Um, I'll let you know the names of them and I'm going to show you. I took two or three um, stencils at a time and these are index cards. So I just played around with the index cards. So let's start with number one. Um, this is the first. I have got such a mess on my desk. Sorry. This is the first one that I did and I will be honest with you. The day I did this, I wasn't feeling that well and it shows. At least it does to me. Um, I used two stencils. This was rain and this one is just trees, right? Here's the two stencils. And this is what I made out of it. Um, like I said, it's eh, it's the mood I was in, how I was feeling. I was just not doing well. so. But I thought that was kind of cool. So there's one. These are the first two stencils I used. And what I did is I kept all the stencils with each ATC card. This one I used bow tie and just bow. So that's these two. And this is what I made with them. And it just says create the world you want. And so I basically did it kind of like a, bo a boy and a girl. Maybe if somebody's having a baby. I don't know. I just played with it and had a lot of fun. That was really fun to do. This one I used the peacock let's make sure she didn't name it different and the paws so here's the paws here's the peacock and this is the card I made from it the background is just a jelly jelly plate I have one here on my desk um, that I play with quite often so it just says be the answer I use the peacock I did the little paws here here and there and it was fun. I really love this stencil. It's funny. It looks brand new, but trust me, it's not. Um, there's stuff all over it. I really enjoyed this stencil because it just gave a little bit of detail, um, you know, just a little bit of extra, and I really like that. So that's that one. The next one I used, this I think is plaid. Yep, plaid and bird flying. Oops. This one was kind of different, uh, what I made out of these. I don't know as I like it, but you know, hey, it was fun. Um, here's the bird. I did start with plaid in the background and then I ended up covering over it, which is this one. So what I did at the end of it is I decided to use the blocks and I just traced the blocks and used them that way. Um, and then we have our little birdie here in flight looks better on camera than it does in person <laughs> but there's those two this one this one is and I'm gonna probably say this long Celtic or Celtic Celtic I think is how you pronounce it uh, which I think is really cool so what I did is I used this for a background here so I did the entire card with that stencil and then just decided to create on top of it so some of these, you know, you can use these as focal points. You can use them as um, backgrounds. I just thought this was kind of cute. And it says, too much perfection is a mistake. Okay. This one was, this one is just plain birds. Remember, the other one was bird flying. This is just plain birds. And then this one is, she put on grass. So here's your grass, right? You can see the grass and then she also put clouds on it as well so what I made from this is this so I just did a flock of birds and I said now because um, they're starting to migrate so I just thought that was kind of neat and then I used the um, cloud stencil the grass for me didn't come out well because that day, again, a few of these I made on days when I just, I wasn't feeling the greatest. And like I said, it shows. But anyways, um, so the grass didn't turn out real well for me. Um, it could have been patience, but you can see part of it 
See it sticking up in the background? And then I just did a darker green over the bottom. So there's that one. I love these stencils. I really do. It's so wonderful because they're small enough. They're actually ATC size, but they're small enough. You can just add that little bit of detail on something that you're making. Okay, this, these I fell in love with. We've got, of course, bricks and we have sunflower. Okay, absolutely love these. These are two of my favorites. And here's what I made with them. Um, of course, I had a, a, it was like a really dark blue card. I made a, I just painted a bunch of, of these um, index cards and then I just chose one to make something out of it. And this one um, was a dark, really dark blue and I thought, you know what? This, I did white, which I absolutely love that background. And then I used the sunflower um, to make my little sunflowers on here. And this says inspiration. And I definitely feel like these two cards absolutely kicked in the inspiration for me. So that was a lot of fun. These two I really like as well. This one is ivy. Let me see if you guys can see it. There you go. I don't know if you can see it. But that one's ivy. And this one is Hens and Chicks. And I really like this one too. Now what I did with them, I just did kind of like an abstract type thing. Again, the background is from my jelly plate. Um, I did use the vines here and then I just took a light green um, jelly roll pen and put in some light green after I used the dark green. Um, and it just says bloom. And I just thought it turned out really cute. So there's that one. Like I said, these are just a lot of fun to work with. Um, this one, I used two stencils. I used hearts, which if you look, it's kind of cool. There's little bitty tiny hearts with it too. And then I used this one, which is Lotus. And again, this is another one of my favorites. I don't know if you guys can see them. Um, but the card I made with these two is this one. This is the card that I made. And I used the Lotus. I used a bunch of colored pencils and stuff with it. Um, and I used the hearts. I used some, uh, you can see in the background, um, some just tissue hearts. But yeah, and the reason I wrote peace is because yoga for me equals peace. And yoga is, of course, connected with the Lotus flower. So that I thought was kind of cool. It was fun. It was fun to make. Again, a couple of my favorites here. This one. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Another one I made on a really bad day, which I shouldn't have done. This one is called Clover. Okay. It's like a four-leaf clover. And this one is Heartbeat. I love, love, absolutely love this stencil. This can be used in so many different ways. It's just fabulous. Now, this one, this card I'm not too thrilled about, but I made it. Here it is. You know, at this point, I'm just showing you what I've got. Um, I'd like to see somebody take these two stencils and make something a lot prettier than this. So basically, I use the stencils and I put luck is in my blood and then I use the heartbeat. So it's eh, okay. So that's those two. This one here is called um cb bridge not why we've got cb in there i think that's what it is this there's a story behind this stencil but um basically it was a bridge the a picture was taken of a long ways away and i loved it and i said to carla oh my gosh that would be a fabulous stencil so instead of using it as a bridge i kind of used it different i used it like those are uh fancy lights um, in the background to this lady right here. And it just says, Be Radiant. And I, I like how this turned out. I love how this worked on the background. I mean, it just, it came out phenomenal. So just think about that when you're using your stencils. You really don't use them for what they say on them. Use them for what comes to your mind. Um, this one here, this is, of course, the flag. All right, this card gave me inspiration to make what I made. I did not use the flag. I used this, which, oh, it's here, is called Spirals. This is another favorite of mine. 
Look at that. Isn't that cool? It's very dirty because I use it a lot. So there's that one. And then, of course, I use stars. Just make sure I have the right name on them. Yep. And this is really cool because it's got a lot of different types of stars on it. And what it the flag encouraged me to do with those is to make this one. This is kind of cool. Um, this is a, a I think a distress ink, and it didn't it wasn't quite the right red, but you know what? It's okay, it's all good. And then I just did the word freedom. So that was a lot of fun. And again, I just used this as inspiration to create with these two cards to create an ATC. This one is fabulous. Um, let me see if I can find the... Okay, this just says circles. Now, I love the way that, one, there's some circles that are filled in, and I love the fact that this one's off-center, which is fabulous. If you notice, most of these are off-center, which I absolutely love. It's not a perfect circle. And again, this is one of my favorites. Um, and what I made out of this one was this. And basically it says, fill your paper with the breathings of your heart. And it's William Wordsworth. So I like this card. It's it just kind of cool to me. And like I said, these are fabulous. They're not, um, I don't know which way I put them. Gosh, only knows. Nobody knows. Yeah, I just spun them all around. But again, this is another favorite of mine, which I will be using more of. These two, um, this is, of course, cactus, cacti, however you want to say it. Three little cactuses in, plant, in um, what do you call it, pots. And then this one is, of course, called wood grain. This is really, really cool. I enjoy this one. I use this quite a bit, and so now it's gotten bent on me, and that's my own fault. So there's these two, and what that inspired me to create was this card here. And yeah, I didn't cut out all the cac. I didn't cut it all out, fussy cut. But you know, I had fun with it. I played with them. I like these. These are really cool. I just cut that out of paper, and of course, my aunt. I love this aunt. And just a hello. If you notice in the background. There's all the wood grain. I did not just sit it, um, you know, here, here, and here. I just took pieces of it. I'd take a little piece there, which is why I bent it up. Um, I'd take a little piece here and just to create that background, which is really cool looking. So that's these two. And these two I have are... This one is called Wavy. Love it. Absolutely love it. And this one I think is called, oh no, that one's called Stripes. There you go. You can get a better view of it there. Okay, now these two, I know there are more. I know she has an owl, which actually, right here's the owl, which I didn't realize I hadn't used until I was going through some stuff and I found this stencil. So here's another one of hers. And then I believe there's one called Diamonds. I don't have that one either. But with these two, what I made was this. Um, I used the stripes, of course, in the backgrounds. You can see them. Um, I played around with this other one. What did I say it was? I have to get it just right so I can see it. Oh, wavy. So I played around with that quite a bit. I did it in the background, then I messed around with some ink, um, and then I decided to just, you know, have fun. So there you go. Um, I hope you check out, I also have another friend, um, Messy Table Studio. She is doing a video also um, using Carla's stencils. She has a totally different take on them than I do. So I hope you check it out. And the link will be somewhere in this video. Um, she'll have to tell me how to do that. But <laughs> there will be a link in here to go to um, Vicky's videos. And if you get a chance, where you can get these stencils is um, on Etsy. And it's called What If NC. So it's W H A T. I F and then the, the initials N and C which stands for North Carolina 
So it's What If NC. Check her out. She's on Etsy, and you can get these right now. There's a special. Um, she's running these, I believe, three for ten. So if you want to go check them out, it would be fabulous. Help her out a little bit, and you know, let's get her name out there because these are just really cool stencils. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will also try to leave Carla's Etsy store link below. I gotta figure out if I know how to do it. Um, again, any questions, let me know. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I really can't wait to see what you have done with some of these stencils. All right, guys, take care. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.